feeling good? I'm Charlie Atkins, and today's workout is a hamstring-focused exercise routine. So let's talk a little bit about hamstrings before we fully start the exercise. Now, our hamstrings are in charge of extending our legs behind us or bending the knee. As a lot of you know, in most of our exercises, a lot of the stuff that we do is hip flexion, where we're bringing the knee in up towards the chest, which is a super quad-dominant exercise. So think cycling, I mean, even in running. However, a lot of the exercises that we do are gonna allow you to kick back. So what we want to do is we want to balance out our legs so that we are proportionally strengthening both sides of it. So again, hamstrings main focus on the body is to extend the hip and to bend the knee. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first set of exercises are all about warming the lower body up so we can get moving. First exercise, 30 seconds on the clock. All we're gonna be doing is knee pulls. So what I want you to do is stand up nice and tall, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna hug your knee into the chest. This is a nice warm up that you can do before every single workout. What we're trying to do is lengthen the hamstring, but at the same time we're pulling our knee into hip flexion. I'm sorry, pulling the knee into the chest, coming into hip flexion. So we're gonna do this for about 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna come into a hamstring curl standing hamstring curl. We got about, let's do one more on this leg. And then all I want you to do is go ahead and face forward. We got 10 second recovery. Now from here, all we're gonna do is you're just gonna be pulling the heel in towards the butt. Now as you can see, I'm pulling my elbows in too. It just feels better and we might as well warm up the whole body. So we're gonna do 30 seconds here of a hamstring curl. And I'm gonna turn sideways so that you can see a little bit more about what's happening. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling my heel towards my butt, staying up nice and straight. I don't ever wanna hunch over warming up the back side of my leg. So each exercise we're gonna do for 30 seconds. We got about five seconds left here. Three, two, and then one. Exercise number three is gonna be a walking squat. So I'm gonna come back to the edge of my mat. I'm gonna come down into a squat position, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk the length of my mat. So coming down, I find it helpful to have my hands behind my head. It forces me to keep my spine nice and long. Again, my head is right in line with my tailbone, and all I'm doing is I'm walking forward and backward in a squat position. Now, major, major key piece of squats is you wanna always drive the knees out or away from each other. And as I sink low, Again, head stays right in line with the tailbone. We got about eight seconds left here. Last three, two, and then one. So exercise number four, we're gonna do an inchworm walkout. So we're gonna be standing at the edge of our mat and all you're gonna do is walk yourself out to a plank position, walk yourself back and repeat. 30 seconds here, so I'm trying to keep my legs nice and straight. Again, right where my hamstrings are. I come to push up plank position, and I'm gonna walk right back. I'm gonna come up to standing, again, lowering right back down. So the goal is to keep the legs straight the entire time. If your hamstrings are tight, which for a lot of us they are, you can always have a slight bend in the knee, but for the most part, keeping the body nice and long. So we're gonna do all of those exercises one more time through, and then we are gonna hit it. All right, okay. Now instead of doing our knee pulls, this time we're gonna come into a leg kick. So again, we're gonna be focusing on lengthening the hamstrings. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands overhead and then I'm gonna reach opposite hand, opposite foot. I'm gonna meet at the midline. Just nice little leg kick. These are great warm up exercises that you can do for any workout. So again, staying nice and tall like a pencil and I'm just bringing my opposite hand towards my opposite toe. Warming up the hamstring, trying to keep a nice straight leg. We got about seven seconds left here. If your hamstrings are tight, you can have a slight bend in the knee. We got one more on this side. All right. So for the last one, we did the hamstring curls. This one, we're just gonna take it straight to a butt kick. So I'm gonna face forward. If you wanna take the modified version, you can always do the hamstring curl again. Otherwise, all I'm gonna do is bring my heels towards my butt. Getting the heart rate up. Nice little butt kick. If you wanna add a little bit more of a challenge, if you're feeling like, you know, you wanna work it out, you can just reach the hands up overhead. You can do a circle if you're bored. We got about 10 seconds left to go. See if you can really kick the heels to the butt. Five more seconds. Get a little breathless, which is great. And then recover, okay. So now we're gonna to go to our walking squat. So I'm gonna start at the back of the mat. I'm gonna come down into a squatting position. I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk, squat walk, the length of the mat. So staying nice and low, 
Some people also call these duck walks. Let's call it what it is. We are not ducks. We are humans that are squatting whilst walking. Whilst, whilst, while walking. Anyway, 10 seconds. Staying nice and low. Straight line from my head to my tailbone. Get one more length of the mat. And then we're gonna come into our final exercise, which is that inchworm walkout. So coming up to standing, 30 seconds, final exercise of the warm up. We're just gonna do an inchworm walkout. So I'm gonna be hinging at my hips, straight legs, walk, walk, walk. Push up plank position, right back up. So this is stretching out the hamstrings, but at the same time, we're also warming up the upper body. Work in the core, full body. We got about 15 seconds left here. Always exhale at the hardest part of your exercise. You always wanna make sure that you're breathing. I'm gonna exhale on my plank. Come right back. Let's do one more. And all right, coming up, okay. Okay, so set number two. We're gonna do four exercises, two times through, 40 seconds each, 10 second recovery. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my weights. Again, I'm using eight pounds. You can use whatever you have, fives, tens, eights. Let's go ahead and get started with our first exercise an alternating lateral lunge. So all I'm doing is stepping from one side to the other. My dumbbells are separating my knee. Now if you notice, both of my toes are pointing forward. Now I'm gonna turn sideways here in just a second so you can see what's happening in a lateral lunge. I wanna make sure that my head is right in line with my tailbone. So I'm just gonna step back and then forward. Okay. This is a doozy. Now don't go through these nice, don't go through these fast. Take them nice and slow. Press the hips back, chest is still staying up. Give me one more. All right, that is our alternating lateral lunge. So from here, we're gonna come into a reverse curl. I'm gonna flip my weights up, right over here so that they're resting right at my collarbone. And then all we're doing are reverse lunges. So I'm coming back, I want my knee to kiss the ground. Yeah, there it is. And then as I come down, chest is always staying up. Head stays right in line with the tailbone. <sighs> Using the breath. And you wanna make sure that this front knee here stays right in line with the ankle. However, if you notice it kind of moving a little bit past the ankle, totally okay. But you don't want the knee to ever go past the toe, right? So nice, good form. We got about one more on each side. <sighs> and then we're gonna move into our glute bridges. Exercise number three, I'm gonna come on down to the mat, laying here on my back. All I'm gonna do is a glute bridge. Hands by my side, I can touch my hands to my heels, and then I'm gonna be lifting my hips up. Cues for a glute bridge, make sure that the chest stays open. <sighs> Exhale at the top. Now if you can, get your lower back to kiss the ground at the bottom of the glute bridge. Hips are pressing up, core stays engaged. <sighs> Engage the glutes at the top. <sighs> Exhale. This right here is a full on hip dominant exercise. So we're using the glutes, using the hamstrings, lifting up. Man, we got out two seconds. Give me one more. All right. Okay. Now we're going to move into the probably one exercise that everybody always talks about as far as hamstring exercise the deadlift. Now, I'm gonna show you some cues. Now, my feet are hip distance apart. Now, the I am not bending my knees all that much. All I'm doing is keeping a flat back, pressing my hips straight back, and my wrist comes right below my knee, and that's whenever I swing back up, right? So the dumbbells are grazing all the way down the front side of my legs. Right when my wrist passes, passes my knee, I'm coming right back up. Now, what I see a lot of the time in deadlifts is people turn it into a squat. We are doing a hip, Dominant exercise, not a knee, right? Hip deadlift. We're gonna get three more in here. We'll take these ones nice and slow. We'll get one more, I don't know, I lost count. I'll just do another one. It's not gonna hurt, you know? All right. All right, we are back to our alternating lateral lunges. So all we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna be stepping out to the side. I want the dumbbells to go on both sides of my knees. Keeping a nice flat back. Toes pointed forward. Chest stays up, stepping out to the side. Now, if you find this isn't a challenge, what you can always do is you can add more weights 
But if you're gonna add more weights for the challenge, then you must slow it down. So we have an alternating lateral lunge. Back is flat, tailbone is pressing straight back. We got about five more seconds. I'm gonna get one more on each side. Here's this side. This side, uh, you know, I'll just do another round. It's gonna be fine. One more. What's it gonna hurt? Okay. Okay, now we're gonna do reverse lunges, alternating. So, holding my weights up here. If you have heavy dumbbells, you can kind of rest them on the top of your shoulder. I'm gonna hold them nice and steady. Otherwise, <sighs> alternating reverse curl. Coming down, knee kisses the ground. I'll add a sound effect. There it is. Coming back, reverse lunge. Take these nice and slow. No fires here. No fires here. We got about 10 more seconds. I'm gonna try and get three more on each leg. We'll see if it happens. Maybe two on each leg. Oh no, I got it. Need one more each leg. Last one. All right. Now we're coming into our glute bridge. So I'm just gonna come on down to the mat. Ooh, laying on my back. Knees are bent. Fingertips touch the heels. <sighs> Lifting hips up, lowering right back down. Each time I'm trying to get my lower back to kiss the mat. Make sure that my core stays engaged. Chest stays open. <sighs> Firing up the glutes at the top. Controlling the lower. <sighs> <sighs> Exhaling on the up. We got about 20 seconds here. <sighs> So if you add this little pause at the top, and then slowly lower back down. Now a lot of people ask me, what does it matter if my palms are up? My palms are down. For me personally, it's just more comfortable to go palms up. We got about five more seconds. And give me one more, just one more, one more. And there it is, okay. All right, final exercise of the set, we are doing our deadlifts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dumbbells. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what's happening. Remember, hip dominant, not knee dominant. On your mark, guess that go. So keeping the back nice and flat. <sighs> Pressing hips back, straight line from my head to my tailbone. <sighs> the dumbbells go right below my knees and I slowly extend up, <sighs> lower right back down. <sighs> Hamstrings. Back of my legs. 10 more seconds. Let's try and get five more. Controlled. We got five. We're gonna do four. We're gonna do three. We got two more. We're gonna do two. And we're gonna do one. And there you have it. There you have it. So that right there, my friends, is our hamstring workout. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, again, you can always add in some more weights. Make sure that you're moving the exercises nice and slow. Other than that, that was a good way to work the hamstrings. Have a great rest of your day. I'm Charlie Atkins. Thanks for hamming it up with me today. For more good moves, make sure that you subscribe to Well and Good, and we'll see you next time on the map.